BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. It will be Team Japan facing off against reigning world champion Sweden in session 10. We'll take a look at how we got to that 6-3 lead for Sweden. It was the first end. Fairly forgiving task for Nicholas Adin to draw and to score the two, no problem. Perfect start for the reigning world champions. Trading a few singles and the fourth end. Nowhere to draw, really to score the single. So for Anagisawa, will be looking to promote the center guard with just soft weight to catch what they can see of the yellow and just an absolute fantastic shot. Fifth end of play. Oh, we just saw it. Great double tap from Yanaki Sama to get in for second. Then Nicholas Adin with the last stone of the end, looking for the double. Finn off the side one, kick across, get the second shot, moving. Moving that far enough to score three. So it was the sixth end. Japan the, uh, played the draw to set up this uh, corner guard run after Sweden just guarding the easier shot. Again, having to play the more difficult circus highlight reel stone to score the two. Comes very close, but not to be this time. For Jana Gisava. A much easier shot to score the two. In the following end, Nicholas Adin with a hit and roll. Just rolling a bit too far. Leaves it open for the taking. Much more com comfortable way to get their two points. Japan stays within reach. But then again, another highlight real shot required from Yanagisawa. Coming off his own to redirect on to the Swedish second shot to score two or three. Not to be just a single for Japan to go two points down on Sweden. Coming into end number 10, where Edin would draw to the open house for the win. A 9-6 final for Sweden to stay perfect so far this week in Ottawa. Send a key turning point in the game. You changed tact, you had last stone, didn't clear the front, chose to draw around, but ended up scoring three. What was your thought process there? Yeah, I think uh, we, we kind of felt that we had control. We played really well this game. They made some really big shots to stay in it, but we kind of felt that we had the upper hand. So um, uneven end, give it a chance for a big score. And uh, when we got it, it felt safe. But before that, they, they were playing really well and putting on a, a lot of pressure on us. And in the 10th end, their coach told them, make sure you lie three by the end, and they did. And you came up short with your first draw. What were you thinking before this, your final shot? Uh, I, I was pretty uh, happy to draw my first just to have the feeling because we haven't played really a full game and had to draw at the end and it felt a little bit fudgy. I just kind of trusted it would still still be quick, uh, which it probably was into the middle or my, my last one felt like normal, but the first one just slowing down a little bit. So kind of important to feel that uh, going forward with so, as well. So pretty open uh, draw, bad miss on my first, but nice to, to make the, the second one there. Yeah, halfway through the round robin in a really good position, top of the pack. Do you start to look now about trying to get that one-two spot into semi-finals? Yeah, definitely. I think that had to be the goal going into this event. We got a really strong field this year. I think it's super important to be one or two. Uh, the first few games we were just looking at playing well, but now obviously getting the wins and just trying to keep that one-two spot would be huge. Well, many congratulations today. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Caleb. Okay. 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 Okay.